Fondo Italia, ci troviamo con uh, Frida Carson, siamo a Passo di Lavazè durante un, uh, un soggiorno in quota per uh, Frida Carson con Linz Van e, e Maya Dahlquist. Uh, hi Frida, why have you chosen uh, Lavazè for the summer training uh, and uh, in your opinion how, ma how much important is the altitude? Yeah, this year was uh, special for us because we really wanted to make like a full altitude um, a year. So we'll go on uh, three different uh, altitude camps before the season starts. And um, La Vazia, we've heard uh, much about it and uh, it's very, very nice here. So uh, this is our first altitude camp this year. You return in the national team uh, after uh, uh, a year or so. Uh, in I know you have a new contract with the team, so I just to, I'd like to ask you if uh, um, the opportunity to have some altitude camps was uh, in your contract with the national team. Yeah, yeah, we have um, all the um, skiers in the team were having like a discussion if we wanted to go for altitude or not, and uh, uh, almost everyone wanted to go on altitude, so they put like we have two altitude camps with the team later and uh, this one is like yeah we support that camp but uh, you will do it your own okay uh, Val di Fiemme is the homeland of to the ski uh, you have a strange relationship probably <laughs> with mm -hmm. the to the ski uh, can you describe because uh, i remember once uh, you fell down in a hotel yeah. mm -hmm. uh, another time uh, you have you were disqualified during uh, a yeah. uh, race. Last season you won, but you <laughs> cannot celebrate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a very <laughs> odd story. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was like, uh, um, we actually went to Alps Hermes and did the intervals uphill there. <laughs> and uh, I thought like, oh, we just go in this part <laughs> of the race <laughs> because it's a very long hill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Tour de Ski has uh, been, um, I've been uh, very excited to like make a full Tour de Ski. <laughs> it was my third now and uh, it, it went pretty well until the, <laughs> the end of the last uh, race. But how much important was for you to win the Tour de Ski? Uh, it was... Uh, it was big for me, I think. I think it, to the ski was the first uh, competition I was remembering as a child, watching TV, ah. seeing uh, Charlotte uh, taking the win at 2008. So it's a big, uh, uh, it's a big uh, competition, and uh, it feels very. I'm very proud of it. Over it. <laughs> what have you learned for um, the last time uh, from the Chermis? Um, yeah, I don't think like it, the um, competition itself was the problem. Yeah. I think the problem was like getting a lot of competitions uh, in a row, mm -hmm. um, having um, like a bit of um, what do you say, a bit nervous in for before races, getting like high stress levels, and uh, it was hard to like have the um, both to have enough uh, both uh, food and uh, drinks uh, to have the energy mm. to finish that uh, tour you, you you i remember it was in Seffeld in 2019 you are so young when uh, you uh, win uh, some medals uh, there and i'd like to, to ask you because you started to have a lot of uh, pressure when you are very young mm. you are very young so uh, it's difficult to be Frida Carson because <laughs> probably <laughs> because you um, you are always under the spotlight. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> it feels like it's always ha happening something to me, <laughs> but it's also like every time it happens something, then this journalist will be there. <laughs> so I think it happens uh, things to a lot of people that doesn't like be spotted. But, um, yeah, I felt the pressure a bit in the beginning, I would say, because my life turned a bit upside down. Like, before CFL, I was going in the school, having my 
normal life and skiing was a part of the, part of the life. And then when uh, after Seefeld, uh, it became my job. Yeah. It was I was uh, getting into the uh, highest team in Sweden. I was like did no school anymore. Uh, I was moving out from my parents. I was like it was a lot of uh, things just being diff different. And that was a quite a um, challenging time for me. Uh, but uh, now, as I'm getting into it, it's like the best life you can live. It's like we're here on job, but yeah. it's very, very nice. It's just a very great uh, lifestyle. Um, what's your dream? your career now because uh, I, I, I read an interview I think a month ago that you told uh, that you um, won't race for many years mm -hmm. so what, what's your dream? <laughs> um, I can sit now and say that I will uh, end my career after the next um, after world championships in uh, Fallen but oh. But uh, I cannot be sure. I will always go on instinct, I think. I will like listen to what feels great and do that. Uh, otherwise, it won't work for me. I can, I can end my career tomorrow if, uh, if that's the feeling. <laughs> But uh, right now, I'm very satisfied with the lifestyle. And uh, I have uh, a lot of goals in front of me to chase. And uh, feel very, very satisfied with that. What's your target for uh, the next season? Um, yeah, actually, I was sitting down after this, um, this season and uh, figuring out what I wanted to do next one, because now we have no championship. I won the Tour de Ski last year, but um, I feel like I'm chasing that um, championship goal. And, uh, in two years, we're going to Trondheim for championships, and uh, actually, that's my target right now. Ah, okay. If, and after the Olympics here in Italy? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I was like, we were doing some strange sessions, and I was like, where is uh, Val de Fiamma? I will be turned that way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, the last question, uh, uh, imagine to talk uh, to a young girl, 15 years old that started to uh, compete uh, in cross country, a dream uh, to become, uh, to have a career mm. in uh, cross country. Mm. What do you want to suggest her? Mm. I suggest that, or I think we're so different in person. I think like, uh, I cannot work with getting a schedule and yes. just uh, bucking like a checklist. I can't do that. I need to like be involved and like get the everything that I think is fun. And like the training should always be something I want to do and not have to do. That's a big difference. And uh, I think the mindset of uh, doing what I like and uh, like enjoying life while uh, getting to a goal, that's the, Uh, most important part.